This tutorial is going to go over how to create basic shape nets and 3D shapes using FabLab Model Maker. To begin with, first set your tool collection up at the very top to standard. This provides additional options on the left hand side for additional shapes. To begin with, I'm going to create a simple cuboid or rectangular solid in the 3D area. So I'm going to click on the cuboid and I'm going to move to the center of the 3D area. Now I'm going to click and hold and dragging with the mouse down, I'm going to create the base of this cuboid. I'm going to release the mouse and drag up and that creates the height. When I single click again over in the right hand side in what I call the print view area you'll see the shape net appear. The shape net is now there. To create multiple shapes there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. One with the standard tool collection selected if you single click on a 3D object and come down and choose duplicate you can create an exact replica of the 3D shape that you created. Notice over in the right hand area a second shape net appears. Another way to create shape nets is to come up to the shape palette over on the left hand side and just click. Notice my existing 3D shapes kind of hazed out. That means that I can actually draw a shape upon a shape. In this case, I'm going to put a wedge on top of the existing rectangular solid or cuboid that I created. When I hover my mouse over this hazed out rectangular solid, it snaps and turns red when you're at a corner or a midpoint or the center. I'm going to click and hold, repeating the process, dragging to the opposite corner where it snaps to red. When I release, I'll know that the base of my wedge is equal to the base of the rectangular solid. Now I'm going to release and drag up and click again. And now I have a wedge on top of a rectangular solid. Over in the right hand area, the wedge now appears.